There's Mount Wilson Circle. So here we are up at Mount Wilson. A beautiful evening. There's the transmitter towers. And we're going to go into the observatory. Nice evening. Yeah. It's beautiful. It is. Well, it's really a spectacular evening up here. Well, that's an interesting sign. Wow, you can really see downtown. This is beautiful up here. Wow. Look at downtown. What's that thing that's all lit up? That's kind of crazy. Look at that. Mm -hmm. What is that? These clouds are really magnificent. You've got all these towers up here. There's a big one. Hey there. Is this for the, uh, for the, uh, the telescope tonight? It depends on who's asking. <laughs> hey, I was Yay. Just asking. Yay! You're the last two. Awesome. Uh, you just pulled up next to the that tractor thing. And we're all going to drive in. Everyone oh, okay. has a parking spot. Don't worry. We just got stuck behind a slow That's guy. fine. <laughs> I, I knew it. It's okay. Hey. Perfect. Everyone's hey, here. Are you ready? ready? Yeah, we're ready. So, we're uh, here. We're going to play follow the leader. You guys are like the first public ticket night that we're doing Great. In like a year and a half. Ago. Yay! So I'm, I'm Evan. Hey, Evan. Inside, inside the dome is Michael. That's the guy you've been emailing back and forth. Uh, he's going to be the driver tonight, and I'm just going to be the guy that yaps all night. <laughs> <laughs> all right. If you haven't been here, this is Mount Wilson. This is not Griffith Park Observatory. I also work at Griffith Park on weekends. So that's huh. like a tourist trap. <laughs> And it just opened last week. <laughs> uh, this 60 inch telescope used to be the largest telescope that the common folk can rent to look through. Now wow. it's 100 inch, which is, you can't see because of the trees, but it's over there. So, mm -hmm. a combination of these two, these are the largest ones you can look through wow. in the world. Uh, this was built in 1908. In we go. We go to the telescope. Oh, man. This is cool. Oh, man. Wow. There it is. There's the telescope. Like I mentioned before, this was built in 1908, and back in those days, people had more common sense. Mm -hmm. If you didn't, if it didn't involve you, you did not touch it. But now, you know, we have to take precautions. So behind him with the camera there, it says "Danger High Voltage." Don't touch that. <laughs> it has Frankenstein uh, switch. That's real. That's how we opened this. Oh, dome. Frankenstein switch. That is. It's a observed through the eye, which is right here. This telescope was originally built as a big camera, like the one he's holding, to take pictures. You, if, you were, if you went to the restroom, you saw some of the pictures down there that we hung up. Those are real pictures taken by the scope. So it was never meant to look through. This has been modified to 
make uh, somebody that Michael and I knew by the name of Bob Dubler, he passed away like six years ago, seven years ago. He made this iQs holder in his garage. Wow. And it's still here and it works. So this is the IP. So in case you don't know how a telescope works or this one's working, the lights, the photons of light are coming down. It's hitting the mirror, which is down here. This is the 60 inch mirror. That's what we call the 60 inch, 60 inch uh -huh. light. And it's in a parabolic shape. So the light's gonna goes back up to the secondary mirror, which is right in the middle, comes back down to the third mirror, which is angled in 45 degrees, and then shoots out over here where you look through it. This is the telescope that in you know, the early 1900s defined the universe as they knew it. This is the first telescope to measure the size of the Milky Way galaxy. Wow. We'll look at some of the objects in my globular clusters. It's how they measured it. Wow. So, to answer your questions already, we'll look at stars, globular clusters, planetary nebulas, and if it gets dark enough, maybe I can reach you. Maybe a galaxy or two. Four or five hours. So you have to be up on the scope. The dome is hours. rotating. So you'll be here in the middle of the night, cold, you would be guiding the scope, make sh making sure that the, your crosshairs or the catalog name is uh, Alpha Books. It is 36 light years away, so it's a nearby star. And wow. what you're looking at is that it's going to be reddish, meaning that it's a red giant star. So unlike our sun, it's like a yellowish white, you know. This one is much cooler. That's why it gives it the red, the reddish cool. color. So just to kill time before, you know, it's a good start to we'll see this. Expose this, and then you wait hours and hours and hours wow. of exposure. What you can do with like a fancy DSLR camera now in like a two-minute exposure, it took hours with this. Wow! And that's what they were doing back then. So you can see the. Oh, that's cool. Who did the lab I don't stuff? Know. Probably him. He, he's all, he's our photography dude. Oh man, that's really cool. And that's the developed picture. That's not a bad picture. Um, some of the old gizmos downstairs. This old weird control panel. That looks like something from a science fiction movie. This looks like the ancient chair that someone would have sat in. It's cool. Pretty cool. Oh man. Pretty scary looking stuff. I think they're moving the dome. The way the, I love the way the switch is just built into this little thing here at the bottom of the stairway. It's the little switch. It's very cool. Corner, and that's what gives it the tracking. That is cool. Oh man, look at the markings on this thing. Yeah, that's how you. That's the. This is the same system that Michael's using up there, only yeah. that it's digital. So this is the right ascension. And the declination should be Oh man. Yeah, this is this is pretty cool. <laughs> 
Well, thanks for oh, sharing. Yeah. Oh, oh yes. the Warner and Swansby Company. Oh, Cleveland, Ohio. Oh. And I thought this thing was like made in England or something. <laughs> Cleveland, Ohio. This is Westinghouse Electric. Yeah, of course. <laughs> they didn't mess around back then. I mean, they make nuclear reactors now. But yeah. <laughs> 110 DC? How'd you like to see one at, find one of these at the flea market? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Apparently this one was found. Wow. It was stored and forgotten. It was found in one of the solar, really? solar telescopes. Really? Like in the basement somewhere. Really? This was just a few years ago. Wow. And they're like, dude, take this meat out of here. That used to be here. <laughs> they put this back. Wow. Mm. This is really something. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So yeah. do you have any, you have any idea what, what year was this thing actually made? I have no idea. This is from probably oh, man, that, late 1800s. That mechanism, sure. that mechanism in there is, that is just wild. Mm -hmm. That is like something in a science fiction movie. Yeah. And it works. Yeah, and it works. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh man. Cover this up, make sure we cover our tracks. Yeah, I cover that puppy up. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Well, yeah, sure. yeah, thanks. You're welcome, yeah. Man. Oh, I totally forgot that. It's the, totally cool. The, the key that I have, like, oh yeah, and it opens this up too. <laughs> <laughs> I've been hearing it over a year. Wow. 